Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel for Brighton for Life. So my name is Brian and tonight I'm going to be doing a quick recap regarding my Oxygen S Cross CB bike, which I've had now for around about 18 months. So before we dive in and have a quick walk around this wonderful bike, in the meantime guys, please hit that bell so you can see updates and also um, please subscribe to this channel. So Let's dive straight in and have a look at this wonderful e-bike from Oxygen. Hello guys, welcome back. Let's just have a quick walk around this wonderful bike, um, a brand of bike from Oxygen. Um, as I said, I've had this bike now for around about 18 months and I've had no problems at all with this bike. It's actually done better than I thought it would do. And let's come down and as you can see down here, as we come around the other side, what I do is cover all the things I like about the bike and anything that I found I didn't like, I'll certainly let you know. But it's done very well over the 18 months and I'm looking forward to upgrading this um, Oxygen S Cross CB bike to the Oxygen S Cross MK2 range, which they've now upgraded same sort of style as this bike but with a few additional upgrades on it which i'm looking forward to testing so let's dive straight in uh, first thing first guys i'm going to compare some of the parts on the bike from a previous e-bike that i had and so you get a better understanding on my previous e-bike i only had seven gears on here i have 21 gears on here which is absolutely superb you've got the extra high gears for when you need them on the flat road and the low gears as well for going up them hills which is absolutely superb no problems at all with the gears slipping very quiet as long as you um, keep maintaining your bike looking after it as you can see i pretty much try and keep the bike very clean when I use it, at least once a week. I'm out there giving it a good service as well. Right, so let's also cover, I'll come in a bit so you can see. Wonderful. Let's also cover the motor on here. This is a 250 watt road legal motor on here, which is um, very good. I've had no problems at all with the motor. Very quiet indeed, I had it serviced and it's even quieter now, which is very good. You will hear some noise from the motor, but it's, it's nothing, it's minimum. And um, what I do like about this motor is that the fact it comes with a cutoff um, on here. So if you're going over the speed limit, like the 15.6, it will cut out. And also if your motor's getting hot, where you're really using it quite a lot, it will cut the, the motor will cut out and protect the motor from burning out because the last thing you want is this motor to burn out because the back rim back wheels do cost a few pennies so that's another good thing that i did like about this motor on this brand of bike we'll come round and we'll have a look at the the brakes and the disc brakes the brakes on here have been absolutely superb. The Tech Row brakes on here, absolutely superb. On a previous bike, they were very, the brakes that I had on there, they were so noisy. It was, it was, it done my head in. They were that noisy, squeaked, squealed, everything. But since I've had this over the 18 months, you know, I've had no problems, very quiet brakes. Yes, now and again, you will hear a bit of a noise. Um, from the brakes as in the fact you could have picked a bit of dirt up or the pads are getting low but no certainly no squeaking or anything like that so um, the brakes have been very good and they are cable pull which is um, very good as well so you can easily adjust them yourself let's come round it comes with suspension which you can lock here which is I've never touched it being honest and we'll come down and we'll have a look at the rear disc as well. As you can see, the cable um, should be replacing that soon, but I'm upgrading the bike, so I'll get a few more months out of that before I 
need to change a cable. Right, let's jump into the main part, the heart of the bike as I call it. Um, how many miles will you get on this battery? You will get roughly around 50 miles on this battery depending how you use the power assistant. The more power assistance you're going to use, the less miles you're going to get. And what made me go for this brand of bike was the fact I loved how they made this battery into, you know, it's integrated with the frame. And on my previous bike, the battery was on top. It, I didn't like the idea of that. And also, you know, there was wires hanging down at the bottom. So I was quite paranoid about it getting wet and causing problems because last thing you want is a battery to pack up. And um, so oxygen, so I can show you inside, let's open it up, take the battery up. Like I said, it's an integra, it's built into the frame of the bike, which is absolutely superb. You've got this wonderful splash proof here. And like I said, that goes into the battery. Um, certainly seals it pretty well. And I've ridden this bike in all weathers, you know, big puddles you know out in the rain all the time it's done very very well and as you know when it rains water's going to run down if any you get in there it just drain straight out there's no cables to be in the way or anything and that's what made me go for this brand of bike having the battery integrated into the frame of the bike it does come with a lock Right, so we've covered roughly how many miles this will do. It's a 13 amp, 36 volt battery, and you, like I said, 50 miles on here. This is what Oxygen recommend it does. Now I can tell you now, I've had 60 on here, no problems. But once again, it's all about how you use your power assistant. Down here, you have charging port down here I'll pull that out with a little cap a rubber cap to push back in um, which is really good keeps the water out if any, any water's going to try and get in there I'll do that up like I said you have a lock here you also have a battery tester there you put that to see what your level's like don't really use that to be honest because it displays it all on the controller right so we've covered the battery let's have a walk around We've covered the brakes, we've covered the gears. What changes have I done to the bike? Right, first things first, I had a set of lights added to the bike. A uh, simple reason is, the lights that came on the bike, I wasn't, didn't really like them to be honest. And um, there were battery lights and I didn't want to keep changing batteries and I'm not one for keep charging things as well. So I had them, them taken off and these additional lights added, LED lights added on here and they were also wired up to work with the power from the battery. I have an on and off button here so I'm going to turn them on so you can see how bright they are. As you can see, very bright. They, they are super bright. Um, I, very very impressed with them we'll have a look at the one on the back guys you don't get these with the bike but your local e-bike um, store could probably fit these for you if you go for this brand of bike or any other e-bike um, they work very well and I had an on off button done, done here so because often I may ride the bike without using any power assistant but I may need the lights. So rather than to powering it up, I've still got the lights. Um, right, how does that drain the batteries? Do the lights drain the batteries? To be honest, if I say I benchmarked it at 50 miles and I had the lights on for them 50 miles, I'd probably lose about a mile, mile and a half battery use from here. So no, they are very, very good. Right, they've also Oxygen added a USB charging port here, um, which is very handy. I've never used this, but I believe um, a few people have used it and said it's very good and it doesn't really drain the battery 
a great deal. It does take a little bit out, but it doesn't really grain it. But that's a, a very, very good touch there, type of USB, just in case you needed to charge your mobile phone. You can't charge the battery through that, guys. You have to use the charging port down here. So let's come back up and let's fire it up so you can see. Right, let's turn it on. Here's the power over here, so I'm going to turn it on. Slowly boot up, there we go. Also, if you press that again, you have a backlight as well. The other thing that I do like about this is that the fact on my previous e-bike that I had, I only had power assistance three. With oxygen, you get six. And trust me, that really does make a difference if you need that extra power for going up hills or you just want to zoom along, that extra power there does really help. You covers your miles, what you do, um, how fast you're going, your battery level. Remember I was saying, you get your battery level here, voltage level. That's why I don't use that. Might use it for a test, but I don't really use it. Um, you also get over here, if you can see, you get power, normal and eco mode. It's in power mode at the moment because I'm only doing short rides to and fro from work and I want to get home quite fast so I keep it in power mode. But yet again, whatever you have set here will also um, drain the battery with, uh, as in miles. So if you're doing a long ride, if I'm doing a long ride, I may put it in normal ride mode. If I'm doing a long ride, I'll stick it in eco. And how I got the 60 miles out of this one charger battery is the fact I often ride in power assistance two. And now and again, if I need a little bit more, drop it up to three and lower it back down and that's enough um yes yeah, so i found this control very simple to set up well i didn't have to set it up just turn it on and learn the basics on here it was very simple i sort of picked it up in a few days how this all worked and how it all did things so yeah very very good so that's another good thing i liked about the bike and the other thing i do like everything's all central you know it's it's all here even the bell um, so I don't know if you can see that. The bell is tucked in. Yeah, it's all central and absolutely wonderful. Right, things I didn't like about the bike. Like I said, I'm not au fait with battery operated lights. So, or even USB charging ones. So, um, basically that's why I took them off and put them on. It'd be nice if Oxygen would integrate these into their bikes at some point, which have been really nice, but that's my own personal preference with this, you know what I mean? I don't like that, so I took them off. Some people might be happy with it. Um, or you can leave them on there and put additional ones on the bike, if you see what I mean. The other thing I didn't really like about the bike, let's come in and have a look at the crow's nest. I didn't like all this cable. It, I think oxygen could have worked um, tidying this up a bit better. And they have guys, they really have. I'm gonna explain that in a minute. To me, I, I like things all neat and tidy. It does look neat, but I believe in fairness, you know, how this is all laid out. Some people, they wouldn't even batter an eyelid. To me, if I can hide it or put it away, I'd be happy about it. But that's not a negative thing. It's there for a reason. You need cables to work your brakes, change your gears. So it's just me. I, I think if they could have made it better, they would have done. And they have. And this is why I'm upgrading my bike to the Oxygen S-Cross MK two basically what they've done um, and i'm very excited about testing this i won't have 21 gears i will have 24 gears on here 
So even more, you know, pedaling power to help me up the hills and certainly on the flat roads. So this MK2 um, is going to have more gears. So that's the first tick what's automatically made me, you know, I want to upgrade to this new bike. Also, the torque is a lot better on the other bike. I'm not saying this torque on this bike's bad. It's really, really good. But to have that extra is absolutely amazing. You know, I really can't fault this bike for what it does. It's done well. I think over the 18 months that I've had it, I've had one broken spoke. Uh, you know, I'm saying bad luck now, and I, I have not even had a puncture. I had my own mistake. I had a nasty fall off the bike by letting my tyres run down quite low, um, but that was down to me. So th this is the second set of tyres I've put on the bike from brand new. So really, in fairness, you know, this is a wonderful bike, and it can certainly pull a lot of weight on top of this. I mean... You know, it's it's amazing. It's a wonderful workhorse. I know how much roughly it can pull. I was been riding this bike at my heaviest, at 100, I think it was 106 kilo. I had 30, say 27 kilo on the back. And I was also pulling a mate on his skateboard as well along. And this bike kept going. Um, oxygen, you didn't hear that. But yeah, this bike can handle what it's supposed to do it's really good maximum load on the back is 25 kilos on the back of the rack and that's another good thing that i do like about the bike this wonderful rack right so we've covered that what else have oxygen done they have replaced the brakes they're going to be hydraulic so you come with hydraulic brakes now, I've used, ridden a bike before with hydraulic brakes and um, absolutely completely different to the pull cord, which you have down here, to have a hydraulic brake. Absolutely superb. So that's another update they've done on, on there. You know, they've given you more torque, they've given you more gears, and they are also giving you hydraulic brakes. And yes... The biggest thing that I really do enjoy, they tied all these wires up. Literally, half the, all the wires go into the frame of the bike. You won't see all these wires hanging out like this. But like I said, that's my personal opinion um, about the wires. Some people, you know, are happy with it. To me, if, if you can get it all in there neatly out of the way, I'll be happy with that. And they've done that. So they're just minor petty things, I think. There's nothing wrong with the cables. The brakes all work good. I've had no problems at all. And like I said, for 18 months, two tyres, a broken spoke, and like I said, you have to do your regular, I recommend every six months, um, a full good service on the bike. Um, I take it into my local e-bike repairman and he service it and basically if you look after your bike keep it nice and clean keep it oiled you don't want to keep the chain too oil i mean as you can see you know i've touched the chain quite a lot you don't need a lot on there where people keep putting it on it doesn't help because it collects and dirt gets in there and it builds up so you know keep it all nice and clean um so yeah oh and the other additional thing i've done is i've got some magnetic um, pedals so when I'm riding so yeah this is my oxygen s cross CV end review about the bike um, yeah it's been a wonderful bike guys you can still get these bikes um, from oxygen from one of the dealers and um, I would highly recommend this bike to anybody well actually any of their brand from oxygen and I'm personally looking forward after riding this for 18 months, upgrading to the new Oxygen, um, as I said, MK2 bike. It's going to be exactly the same. I think the only addition is where this is black. The other one's grey, which I don't have a problem with that. 
but I believe they also do are bringing out this in black as well so um, I could hang on for the black version I quite like the black but there again I do like the grey as well so in the meantime guys this is Brian and I hope this review um, update has helped anybody so like I said if you're looking for a e-bike um, I'd highly recommend um, checking out Oxygen um, I'm going to put the links below for people and um, yes Thank you very much and all keep safe guys and um, thank you for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you can see other updates that I do talking about oxygen bikes.